Hey, what's up YouTube? Super short video today to briefly show you how I created this cool GPU particle system using Niagara. Let's go! So I first created a blueprint, added a spline component to it, as well as a Niagara component. In a function I call both in the construction script and on begin play, I set a Niagara variable of type object named spline so that it points to this spline component. I also set the particle system's bounds, but it seems that getting the spline component's bounds returns crap. So I instead estimate the spline's bounds myself by sampling it at regular intervals and getting the min max position along the three axes. Hacky and very unoptimized, but whatever. I also add an arbitrary offset to increase the bounds, just to be on the conservative side of things when it comes to occlusion cutting, and that's it. Quite a simple blueprint. Let's take a peek at the Niagara particle system. So at first, I just created an empty system. I added an emitter using the empty template, switched it to GPU, and set its bounds mode to programmable to use the bounds I set in Blueprint. Particles lifetime color on sprite size were randomized, and then I proceeded to add a few built-in modules, spawn rate, shape location, apply initial forces, curl noise force, drag, solve forces, scale sprite size by speed, and scale color. Next, I created a new scratchpad module and added a spline input. This module is to position particles randomly along the spline upon spawn, and the emitter works in world space, so I just have to sample the position on the spline by unit distance in world space and use a random 0 to 1 value to distribute particles along the spline. This module must be placed before the shape location module to not override the location it sets, but also to allow this shape location module to act like a modifier, meaning that sphere location is applied on top of that random position along the spline. This module's spline input was also configured to reference the spline object set in Blueprint. This is a user parameter of type object I named spline the same name I used in the blueprint, right? I then created a second custom module, moved it up here, and this one has a bit more to it. Let's break it down. I first find the closest unit distance to position, meaning given where a particle is currently located in world space, where is the closest point on the spline in a 0 to 1 range from start to end. I then sample a position on the spline at that unit distance to compare it to the particle's current position and thus get the direction and distance to the closest point on the spline. I also sample the spline forward and up vector at that unit distance. Next, I compute what I call the forward force. So I just use the spline's forward vector multiplied by some arbitrary value based on how distant the particle is to the spline. Maybe you want particles to travel forward along the spline faster when close to it, or the opposite, up to you. Next, I compute what I call the spiral force. That's what makes particles curl around the spline. And when you think about it, it's quite simple. I simply used the spline's up vector rotated along the spline's forward vector. And the rotation amount is simply driven by the unit distance multiplied by a value sampled from a curve. So let's say from 0 to 1 along the spline, I want particles to curl around it 8 times. Or 4 times the first half, and then 4 more times in the opposite direction for the remaining half. That's the spiral force. However, it has the tendency to push particles away from the spline. 
So the last force I add is a magnet force to push particles towards the spline based on how distant they are to it. And that's it. Those three forces are added to a transient vector called physics force. That's what this whole forces module expects. And voila, tweak this module to your likings, add it to the spawn stack as well, tweak it to give particles extra oomph upon spawn, and you get this cool effect. Neat. Alright, files are available as a tier 1 reward on my Patreon. I included some more goodies in that project. That's it, short and sweet. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye bye!